Good morning students in this video I'm going to talk about some major works that are very much important for you in order to prepare for net examination and what I did was I made a list of all the important works on a piece of paper then I went on to the Google copied the summaries of all these novels into a Microsoft Word file and took the printouts of all these works and started studying these summaries so in this video I'm going to share with you some major important works beginning from Anglo-Saxon age to age of pop so let's start with the first one the first important work from Anglo-Saxon is Beowulf you do one thing you just write down all these works in your notebook and just take the printout of all the summaries of these works so the first work is Beowulf the second work is the Gawain and the Green Knight the third work is Canterbury Tales coming on to the fourth one which is Utopia the fifth work is the anatomy of melancholy there is a question from utopia there was a question from anatomy of melancholy in the antenate examination they asked us that how many editions this anatomy of melancholy was published it was five editions another question was in which year this work was published by robert burton the answer was 1621 there was a question from utopia also it is a common work utopia you have to study this utopia by thomas murray uh, thoroughly and of course a canterbury tale too is important work that you cannot afford to skip while preparing for your examination coming on to the next work which is every man in his humor by ben johnson ben johnson too is a very important writer that you should not skip so ben johnson has written many plays and out of all these plays there are some important works beginning from every man in his humor another play is the alchemist the next one is the wall pond the questions have been asked from all these plays coming on to the next one which is of christopher marlowe that is dr foster's you cannot avoid studying dr foster's because in the june 2020 they have asked the question from dr foster's also christopher marlowe is as important as ben johnson christopher marlowe has too has written five to six plays and out of these plays the important ones are dr foster's the jew of malta tamerlane the great coming on to the next one uh, which is and uh, the works of william shakespeare he has written around 36 or 37 plays all these plays are as important as christopher marlowe's and ben johnson's so william shakespeare has written many works and out of these many works you have to study a few works thoroughly because for the last three to four times they have been asking passages from the works of shakespeare the last time in shift one they asked the passage of king lear in shift two they gave the passage from midsummer night dream so you cannot skip this writer also first is the king lear another is as you like it, Cymbeline, Hamlet, Julius Caesar, Macbeth, Much Ado About Nothing, Romeo and Juliet, The Merchant of Venice, Othello, Midsummer Night Dream, Antony and Cleopatra, The Tempest, A Winter's Tale. So I have not studied this winter tale, but it's on you whether you want to study or not because all these plays are very much important. The question may come from this winter tale. I suggest you to read all these plays because the questions have came from King Lear, Antony and Cleopatra, Julius Caesar. You might have studied Julius Caesar in your 12th standard. I recommend you to study all these plays without skipping anything. Or if you cannot read the summaries, you can just go on to YouTube and write the name of these plays and you will get the movies on these plays. I too watch the movies on these plays because reading some is boring for me and I also forget all these characters so that's why I prefer watching movies now it takes around two to three hours to watch a movie but I get a clear picture of what Shakespeare is talking about so you can watch the movies on his plays it's available on YouTube for free coming on to the next one the Duchess of Malfi by John Webster these all plays are from Elizabethan age beginning for Ben Johnson and we are continuing to the rest of the authors of Elizabethan age you cannot skip reading White Devil by John Webster Another is The Spanish Tragedy by Thomas Kidd. So the Spanish Tragedy is the source of Shakespeare's Hamlet. So you cannot skip this. There was a question in Antinet examination from the Spanish Kidd also and Thomas Kidd was university wit. There was a question in Antinet that who among these four options that do not belong to the category of university wits. Coming on to the next one which is The Fairy Queen by Edmund Spencer. Just study Fairy Queen thoroughly don't skip anything there are a lot of questions from fairy queen even there was a question from fairy queen in the june 2020 examination so now let's go on to age of milton the first play of john milton is the paradise lost the next one is lysadius el eligro el penesro these four works of john milton are very much important so study these works thoroughly before moving forward i want you to pause this video and press the like button because it will encourage me to create more such contents if you are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe the channel coming back onto the topic let's move on to the age of bryden 
in the age of bride and the very first work which is most important is pilgrim's progress by john bunyan there were questions from pilgrim progress in 2017 exam the next work is essay of dramatic poesy by john ryden you must write down the important poems of john ryden starting from absalom and achitophel mac flecknoe alexander feast a song for saint cecilia's day so these are the important poems of john ryden try to read the summaries of all these and make notes with your own hands coming on to the next one which is the age of pop beginning with the writer daniel defoe robinson crusoe and mol flanders don't skip these two important works the next work is of jonathan swift which is gulliver's travel a tale of tub the battle of books there is a play by john gay the beggar's opera so you should study this play also and of course don't forget to study alexander pope who has written a lot of important works in the age of enlightenment beginning with an essay on criticism an essay on man epistle to dr arbuthnot the dunciad the rape of the lock moving forward to the next author which is henry fielding joseph andrews and tom jones are the most important works of henry fielding so the next author is samuel richardson the important works is pamela clarissa samuel richardson has promoted bourgeois culture in these two novels these novels are also important from the perspective of post colonialism so the second last author of our video is oliver goldsmith the most important work of oliver goldsmith is she stoops to conquer and the last author is sheridan who has written the work rivals and the school for scandals so there is a movie on the rivals so you can just check out that movie on youtube in order to clear your concepts of this book so this is it for this video in the next video we are going to discuss about romantic period where the important writers are wordsworth coleridge john keats so on and so forth so again if you find the video worth of your time i wish you to press the like button and also subscribe the channel to show your support and at last if you have any query drop your questions in the comments below i will be looking forward to resolve all your doubts in my next video thank you